Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Ghoul, a unit from the Blazing Shadows. This unit requires some fairly unethical things be done to pilots in exchange for an incredibly capable and powerful suit. It's modeled after Zimmons' style of mobile suits and I believe it uses some parts potentially from the GAN, but I might be wrong on that one. Of course, this unit is a 450 cost, ground capable raid with a beam ballistic and melee resistance of 20, a range strength of pillows, I mean zero, a melee strength of 35, a movement speed of a very zesty 140, and a thrust gauge of 65. For parts, we have close range of 14, medium of 11, and long range of 7. For equipment, this unit has only one range option in this regard, being the giant bazooka with cloth on it. A pretty decent bazooka as it goes. For melee, we have the ghoul beam blades time two, which are then the mounted in the shields and placed on either arm. Then we have the sub weapons of the ghoul tube missile. <laughs> oh, pardon me. It's um, they fire missiles, uh, straightforward. They do some pretty decent amount of damage, and they have some decent range, considering this is a close-range unit. Then we have the Ghoul Tube Missile Incendiary. They do okay damage, have decent range, and can kind of tick uh, on a target for a while. They can be quite annoying if you're trying to burn someone's health down. Ha ha ha. Four skills, we have Leg Shock Absorber Level 2, high Assault Booster Level 2, High Performance Balancer, Maneuver Armor Level 2, Enhanced Tackle Level 5, Forced Injector Level 2, very nice, Melee Combo Controller Level 2, Heavy Attack, and I think this unit has a, one of the quicker charging heavy attacks that I can remember. But I might be just misplacing uh, that, so keep that in mind. Power Accelerator Level 2, Anti-Blast Stabilizer, Special Arms Equipment Buffer Level 3, and Active Guard Kai. I am horrible at using Active Guards. I will never ever use them, and a lot of times I just see people get picked to pieces when they do use them. It can be a useful skill. I'm just bad with it, so keep that in mind. In terms of my personal opinions of this unit, this unit is actually pretty fun and capable in the mid to close range game with some decent shooting options to be kind of a harasser. When you start pumping out those heavy attacks, it is a freaking pain in the butt. It at least pulls its weight against a lot of other raids that in some cases have better options and in a lot of cases a beam weapon option. But I think this unit is fantastic and it's just fun to play. But do keep in mind, at its cost, it is a lot larger than a lot of other suits in this range. So keep in mind, it's a bit wide and it's a bit tall. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello everybody and welcome to the match. I am not good with active guard units, so I'm going to warn you, I will probably completely forget to use that feature. And it's a big feature for this suit, so take that in consideration with my performance. But, in general, I've just watched a lot of those units get torn to pieces regardless, so yeah, there we go. So we're going to move out a little bit. And um, I'm going to push forward along with uh, 5 here. And I'm going to switch over to the, uh, the flames. Or the flame launcher. We're just going to call it the flame launcher for ease of use. Or ease of reference. And um, I want to use it to at least pick at some people. So I'm trying to trail behind 5 so he can get a little bit of that sweet, sweet attention before uh, committing. We get a few little ticks off then there we go you can see that 500 damage tick uh, I'm gonna throw some missiles over to help five out we're he's getting pushed on three sides at the moment or at least two so I wanted to back up to give him a little bit of room we're gonna throw some 
more missiles down there. I'm going to come over to help in this case. There go, and then boop. It's got one heck of a reach, uh, just with its basic melee. Throw some more missiles to push a little bit. And you can see a little bit of that ticking there. I'm going to try to catch this guy here, switch over to the melee and get him there. Take his shield out. Hold on for a second. And... <laughs> Well, that's a kick, all right. Um, we're just going to pick at him with some missiles. And we're going to hit him with miss that. And we're going to remember that this suit has heavy attack suddenly and go, Oh! <laughs> so, do a little bit of damage there. We're going to charge this up, but accidentally uh, do our thing. I'm going to get hit by one of the most <laughs> bullshit reaches in the game. This unit really does need a bit of a tempting down. Oh, hey, it's the Barzan. A true Chad suit. Unfortunately, I'm going to be able to uh, knock him down. Do some decent damage. Not as much as I would have liked. But I'm going to come back around. And I'm going to try to help get rid of this trainer real quick. And we're going to start charging our heavy attack. We're going to try to let five get in there and get some attention with four. So that we can uh, take advantage of that and come in and say hi. And woof, that is some damage right there. And uh, he gets taken out. We didn't get the kill, but we did take most of his life. So we're going to help push here. We're going to try to fall in. And we'll go ahead and get the melee kill there just to top him off. And uh, we're going to get hit with artillery. Yes, artillery. So ours our first death. So we're going to spawn in on our home base. And we're going to turn because we see uh, number two over here having a little bit of a struggle session. So I was hoping to be able to come up and help him, but uh, I'm fast, but not that fast. They're going to get hit with some artillery. We're going to come in, fire some things just to badger that poor guy. See that we have this uh, other raid coming up on us. And we're just going to back down a little bit. He's going to pick at us with the, uh, the beams. We're going to move, but still get hit by one of the most intense bullshit reaches in the game. And they're kind of forming up into a bully squad. We're going to do a little bit of extra damage. And just keep badgering him as much as I can. I'm not in a good way at the moment. Oh, we caught him with that. Nice. And we'll go ahead and get him with a little bit of the one-two. He's going to die, and then our guy is going to axe us. And we're going to get killed. So, death number two. To, thanks for the axe, buddy. So, we're going to spawn at uh, the home base again. And this time, we're going to keep trying to uh, meet up with our team. You know, safety in numbers, yada yada. And, um, oh... There's a couple things floating in the sky we just passed. Interesting. And um, we're going to go ahead and maneuver up. And we're going to charge that heavy attack. Because, well, if I can say hello to this poor fellow, we're just going to go ahead and eliminate him from existence. We're going to charge it up again because, dang it, they gave me heavy attacks and I'm going to use them. We're going to go ahead and repay the Nero Trainer for being a Nero Trainer. He should have known better. And we'll come in and get some of that sweet damage done to uh, that unfortunate soul right there. We're going to charge up and kind of trail to Alex because I'm not sure what he's doing. But we're going to give him with that second part of the downswing. Come in and do another medium amount of damage to there. Uh, the Barzam no longer wants to play. <laughs> I don't blame him. Um... The that version or the shrapnel bazooka can do some decent damage, but uh, it can be so hard to to get a decent match in. So we see our friend again, and we're just going to help remove him from existence. Not get the kill count, but hey, you know he's gone, so that's really all that matters. And we see these two guys. I'm not sure why the Alex didn't notice me, um, but you know. He didn't. So we're going to take 70% of his life off. We're going to charge up. And, um, well, we'll get him right there. 
killed? <laughs> I, don't I don't know why he doesn't notice me. I'm not invisible. So we're going to keep working on these guys. This thing could do some ridiculous amounts of damage. Oh, there's the Neuro Trainer again. I'm not sure what this guy was thinking, but he did get the counter on this. So bravo, sir. I still hate your unit. Now. He's going to get a little bit of that sweet damage in, but um, unfortunately for him, he's not going to be able to escape us too easy. Unless I completely misjudge all of my attacks. Oop, got him with the bazooka. And I believe he's out, so we're going <laughs> to keep messing up. I'm worried about getting hit in that, the back with the axe again. And, you know, it's better to be a little sh uh, unsure and safe than it is to, uh, to instantly get killed. So we're going to come around and, oh, we see our target. We're going to come in and get downstruck by our own guy. Bravo, sir. Oh, and we're not going to get hit with artillery again. No, we're going to probably, yeah, get hit with artillery. Okay, so the match is now out. Um, we weren't able to do anything else, but let's see how we're doing. So, yeah, that's our victory pose. And all of the spots are mine! <laughs> and first place, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye!